Hey the YouTubers, final lesson, uh, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun, this is our final lesson on using select case, uh, I believe this will be the final one anyway, this is lesson 5 of it, um, quick review of what we've done, you can skip past this if you want, we said select case, and we're analyzing whatever's in range A2, which is 6 million one currently, so in the event that that cell contains the number 1, we want to put the word 1 and B2. In the event that it's 3 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 or 11 or high, then do this. If it's anywhere from 60 all the way to 150,400, then do this. And in the last video we said case is greater than or equal to 6 million. Now, I was asked, well, th you know, these, these commas mean or. So in the event that it is 3 or five or six but what about and what if you wanted to say if it is this and that well uh, yeah you can do that there's a little bit of a syntax that you have to compose it in just such a way uh, and I'm gonna show you that right now so let's say let's it's greater than uh, greater than or equal to six million and so say and and then you say uh, I think we're going to use the variable. So instead of saying case again, we're going to actually type in range A2 like this. And range A2. And we don't say is because we're not using case now. We're back to normal format. So you say uh, case is um, in, the, in, the, in the case or in the event that it, it is greater than or equal to 6 million. And range A2 is less than uh, 66 million five hundred thousand so that syntax it will accept so let's try that I'm gonna say six million four hundred thousand alt F8 and hit enter this is this is puke but if I go a little bit above that threshold how about six million six hundred thousand uh, enter alt f8 enter oh, what did I do here whoops alt f11 six million five hundred thousand so if it's greater than or equal to six million and it is less than six million five we better debug this thing hadn't we Y'all be you'll be watching this and going, Dan, you're crazy. It's probably right there in front of me. Let's use seven million five hundred thousand. I'm gonna run this code and stop it right here. So we're saying if A2 is greater than or equal to six million, so it is greater than that, and it is less than six million five. I'm going to hit F8. Um, for some reason, it is thinking that that is correct. So, what am I doing wrong? It's always something in it, guys. <laughs> Let's see. Six million, but it is not less than six million five hundred thousand. Hmm.
Okay, so... Really? Excel is so weird sometimes. So I just flip-flop these. I had a hunch. I flip-flop them um, to make the greater than... Or, excuse me, less than 6,500,000. And it's greater than or equal to 6 million and it rejected it for whatever reason and we have to test it when we're inside that range how about 6 million 250,000 alt f8 and it says puke oh wow 6 million 600,000 well anyway as you can see you can use and but I wouldn't recommend it what I would recommend is that instead of doing all this mess, you just do one of these um, case six million to six million five hundred thousand, like so. Much easier. There's your range. So instead of using and, of course you can use and all you want. It's just like a, like a, you just saw. It's probably gonna be a little glitchy. Anyway, thanks for watching, and God bless, guys. This will be available in the Dropbox.